Welcome back, everybody, to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, let's go for round two. Um, I'm doing a video today, uh, not on a ROM uh, review, but uh, what, what I thought I'd do is show you guys how to uh, build your own ROM from source. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about that, um, and it's something I said that I would do uh, a while ago, and it's just it's taken me a while to get to this point. And I thought uh, today, uh, why not do it today and get it done and over with? So, um, what we're going to do is, and I had to think about this, um, which ROM I wanted to build. Uh, and I thought the best one to build uh, would probably be Validus. Uh, it's by Ground Zero. And um, the reason it is, is because they have uh, three different ROMs you can build. You can build uh, uh, Validus, Tesla, or, um, and I always forget their other one, uh, the one with the beer... And I can't think of it. I, it'll it'll come to me sometime in the video. Um, but the first thing you want to remember is, in order to build a ROM, you need some kind of uh, Linux distro to build it on. I highly recommend that you install Linux, uh, a distro. I'm running Ubuntu 8, uh, or Ubuntu, Ubuntu, <laughs> I can't even say it, 14.06. Uh, uh, it's called Mate. Um, but there are a couple other distros that you guys can use. Uh, you can also run it off of an external hard drive. You can run it off of a USB drive. Um, you can partition your uh, the drive you have in your computer right now, your Windows computer. You can partition it, uh, and then you can dual boot that way. Um, I actually have a, a, a secondary internal uh, drive that I put in myself uh, that allows me to do that. They're both three terabytes, um, and I actually have the Ubuntu uh, drive running as my primary and my Windows 10 running as a secondary. So ooh, I just wanted to get that out of the way. You have to have a Linux uh, type environment uh, to build a ROM. Um, again, you can do it with Windows, but you need to have a virtual machine or uh, run it off of uh, a USB drive. So um, the the way I'm going to be doing it or explaining it on this video is going to be running through Ubuntu Mate 16.04. Uh, just so you guys are aware of that. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is set up your computer, uh, your build but your build machine. Um, and I actually uh, got all of these notes off of uh, Frankie T of R3DS uh, Themes. Uh, he's, uh, he's the guy that uh, wrote all of these down for me. Um, he actually has, he didn't write them down for me, but uh, he posted them on uh, both of his Google Plus communities, the, the one for 6 and the one for SOS. Um, if you guys uh, have been to his website, he also has uh, the instructions on his website. And I think you can also find them, uh, yes, they're uh, under his, uh, under the SOS uh, uh, Git. <laughs> I can't think. Anyways, uh, these are what they look like. Uh, basically build instructions um, it tells you what you need you know that's of course this is how to build six I'm not going to give you the uh, directions or the uh, um, the repo in it for that um, but I will show you where you can get ground zero at now the first thing you want to concentrate on is actually setting it up so you want to go down to where it says set or set set up to build Android from source John, my buddy, we're we're talking about some phones here. Uh, so we're going to open up a um, a terminal, and you just do it right from your desktop to begin with. And then what you want to do is you want to run uh, all the way down through until you are done with every one of these, and it's just copy paste, guys. And I'm not going to do it uh, because I've already set up my um, my build machine, but it's going to be as easy as this, and I'll show you. Um, first thing you want to do is remace, uh, remove all traces of Java, uh, and I'm not going to do that because I'm going to then I'd have to reinstall it again. But you'd basically just uh, copy and then paste here and hit enter. Okay, it's probably going to say, um, you know, you're going to have to hit Y. You know, if you want to continue, hit Y, then hit enter. Uh, it may even ask you uh, if you want to continue. You know, on down, you got to hit enter again. So you want to keep watching what's going on. Uh, then step two is going to be to uh, add the uh, OpenJDK uh, 7, uh, PPA, and Fetch. You, you need all of these. Uh, so you just copy and paste this. 
into your terminal. Hit enter. It's gonna it's gonna say, uh, do you want to continue? Hit Y or N. You all, you want to hit Y and continue. Uh, then the third step is going to be uh, to install all available updates, and that is this uh, sudo app get uh, upgrades and uh, and and sudo app get dist uh, upgrade. So you want to again copy and paste uh, right into here. And I can tell you guys, I'll do this one here quick because it's not uh, it's not going to change anything that I already have. Um, and why didn't it go anywhere? Let me see here. Oh, I know why. I copied and pasted the wrong thing. Or did I? One I two stable unofficial search file directory. Let me op reopen a terminal. And I want to... Uh, let's just go from the beginning here. Remove all traces of Java. Oh, I don't want to remove my Java. <laughs> Uh, all right, any guy, you guys just keep going through that. Then when you get to step four, it says you have to install uh, OpenJDK 7 and Android dependencies. This is going to take you a while because you have to copy and paste each one of these commands. So you want to copy, paste, hit enter. Since this is the first time for me, you're going to have to put your password in, enter, and it's going to go down and put it in. Now, you're going to probably see, uh, do you want to continue, hit uh, Y or N for yes or no. Um, because I've already got all these installed. So it's going to say uh, zero newly installed um, and zero to remove because I'm already there. I have all these on. So, again, guys, just run down through every single one of these, copying and pasting, keeping an eye on it. You always want to hit yes, you know, Y for yes, uh, and then you want to watch to make sure if it says to hit enter, you want to hit that enter button. You get all the way down here to the end. There's quite a few to do. I can tell you right now to set your build box up it's probably going to take about an hour at the, you know, and I'm giving you a little bit of time, but about an hour. Now, when you get all the way down here at the bottom, you're going to see step five says uh, to remove any unnecessary packages. Uh, it's sudo app get un or auto remove. You want to copy, paste, hit enter. That gets rid of all the stuff. Again, now that would have there you would have seen uh, 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 something to pop up, and it would have said uh, hit Y or no if you want to continue. Uh, believe I've already done this, so it's just going to go right through and say that nothing to upgrade. It's already done. Uh, after you're done with that, you move on to step six. This is where you make a uh, usable, uh, accessible folder and put it in a path. Um, you just want to again copy and paste it into here, and you want to enable cache, so you want to copy and paste this one in here, hit enter, uh, and then you want to restart bash, uh, so you're going to copy and paste, uh, so, whoops, nope, this mouse really sucks, um, yeah, you want to copy and paste this, uh, this right here, into here, and that's going to, uh, that's going to restart bash for you, or dot bash. Anytime you see a dot in front of uh, a folder, that means it's a hidden folder. It's a, it is a root folder uh, that you normally can't get to. Uh, number nine is going to be to configure Git. Um, now, basically here is you want to put in your username. Uh, you can use Modo, M-O-E-D-O-E, -E, if you want. Um, it's not that important, but I have a Git, uh, a GitHub account, and I highly recommend uh, that you get one too. Um, it's it's just a good thing to do. If you're going to build them, if you're going to build ROMs, you should have a GitHub account. Uh, that way, you can learn how to use GitHub. Um, it'll it'll get you uh, you know it'll get you really far into building ROMs. So I'm going to use Glockman 4519 here, uh, and I'm not going to redo it again because I already have it. Uh, but you'd basically again you you're, you copy and paste this command in, then you go to uh, copy and paste this command in, and right here where it says user email at email.com you would put your email address in there. Um, I'm using my, uh, you know, my email address I have with GitHub. I put that in there. Um, I think you can use modo at email.com if you want. Uh, it, I don't think the email address really matters. Uh, next thing is going to be to enable repo and put it uh, in the local path or your root folder. Uh, so you're going to want to copy and paste this. 
and again we're still on the desktop uh, you copy and paste that in there uh, and that that is going to uh, enable repo and it's going to put it in the local path folder next thing you want to do you're getting ready to build a ROM now so you have to think about what ROM you want to make um, we're gonna just for this video purpose I'm gonna make or we're gonna build validus the latest uh, validus which is by ground zero ROMs so you would, uh, instead of this Saint 6 ROM, this would say Validus, uh, you know, uh, MKDIR, uh, then you have that root uh, forward slash, uh, it would say Validus here, okay? Um, you would, you would uh, either type that in there or copy and paste that in there, and then you want to uh, actually change directory, you want to go into that folder, so you CD, which means change directory, and this would say Validus, not 6 ROM, uh, and then you're ready to go, you want to repo in it. Now, um, since I already have my build machine done, uh, once you put in that command to uh, change directory into Validus, it's going to put you into your Validus folder. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my Validus folder because I already have this made. Now, before you guys do anything, this is going to be empty. There's going to be nothing in here. All right, um, and you're going to have a terminal open if you do it the way I just showed you. Um, but an easy way to get to that, honestly, is to just close everything out, open up your, your main folders, go to Validus, and there'll be nothing in here. Right click and click Open in Terminal. Okay, now what this is, is you created a terminal inside of your Validus folder or Tesla or whichever ROM you're going to build. Again, we're using Validus as our um, demonstration for this video. Uh, now you need a repo in it, which is basically a URL. Um, which is going to get you uh, to where you want to go in order to download the repos. So we're going to go to the internet. We're going to go to, uh, I'm going to use Google Chrome. Make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, this is my second video. The first one, I got right to the end. I was actually going to just say the hell with it and post it, but just figured I'd go ahead and uh, make another one quick. All right, uh, I'm going to go to Google+. Plus. And we're going to go to Communities, and I think uh, Ground Zero is right next to my community, if I'm not mistaken. Haze Tech, yep, Ground Zero. Whoops, no, I don't want to move it, I want to open it. Now, uh, if you go to Ground Zero um, Community, if you look over here to the left, you're going to see a little arrow right here. Go ahead and open that arrow up, and this is going to give you directions for their GitHub. Okay, uh, it says to build Tesla, go here, to build Validus, go here. We're going to build valid, uh, Validus, so we're going to click on that link. It's going to take us to their um, to their manifest. A manifest is a repo. Uh, manifest is the most important repo of all the repos. And when I say that, what I mean is, what the manifest does is it tells your, uh, your sync, your repo sync that you're going to do, what all you want to pull onto your computer. It's going to tell it where to get it at. It's going to have all the URLs in there. It's going to tell it uh, where the sources are at and guide your computer to those URLs so you can download everything you need to build this. So again, guys, this is the biggie. Whenever you want to build a ROM, you go to that uh, ROM source on GitHub and you want to look for the manifest. This is where you're going to find it. A lot of times in the manifest, if you go into the readme text, it'll actually tell you how to build it. Uh, that's the wrong one. I think it, maybe it's here. It's bold XML. Nope, nope, nope. Um, again, like I said, most of the time they have instructions underneath here how to build it. But for our intended purposes, what we need is this URL here, which is called the repo in it. So you want to copy. And we're going to go back to our uh, terminal that we had opened up inside that folder that we created, our ROM folder. We want to paste it and hit enter. What that's going to do is that's going to uh, enable um, your repo in it for the uh, for that folder. See, uh, repo has been initiated uh, to this computer. So then you want to type in um, repo sync. Hit enter. And it shouldn't take that long to do a repo sync because Again, guys, I, I just I already did it, uh, so it should go really, really quick. 
I'm going to go ahead and pause it, though, uh, so this video is not too long. All right, we recording? Yes, we're recording. All right, uh, that is it. Now, when you see uh, work trees at 100%, it has to be at 100% um, for this to work. If you see anything other um, than 100% right here, it's not going to work. Um, believe me, uh, you're going to end up with problems. So, with this still open, you want to go back to uh, uh, these instructions here. And uh, you want to go, what we want to do is we want to, um, we want to set what the cash is going to be for building. Um, it's recommended anywhere from 70 to 80, uh, 50 to 80. Uh, I always go with 100. Uh, guys, you can change this according to how your internal storage is set up. But this is how I do it. So I'm going to copy and paste that in there. We're going to hit enter. And if you read that, it says set cache size limit to 100 gigabytes. Now, the more you have, and of course, if you go over 100, it's, you're really not doing any good. Um, but anything up to, say, 100 uh, gig, it, it's going to speed up the build process a little. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going from a blank slate building this ROM, uh, Validus, uh, and this is your very first build, it's going to take about four hours if you have the same system I have. And right now, uh, I have an HP. It's just an old uh, computer with an i5 um, uh, Intel processor in it. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, that's the DDR3 or DDR4. I can't remember right now, but it's it's the it's got good RAM in it. Uh, I did just upgrade that. Um, I do highly recommend that you have at least eight gigs of RAM. Um, I would go 16 if you could. 32 is crazy good. Uh, but again, like I said, it. This is just going to, you know, either speed up the build or slow it. Uh, you could go anywhere from an hour to do this total process all the way up to a day, 24 hours. It depends on your computer. It depends on your internet connection. Uh, and it depends on um, the ROM that you're building. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and X out of this. I don't want that stuff popping up. And that one. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. All right, uh, so we've enabled our cache, or we've set our cache limit. Now you want to build. Now you can do it a couple different ways. Um, this is going to be in the uh, download where you guys can see this. Uh, you can copy paste this. This is just all one build um, uh, command, or you can do the long way around it, which is uh, dot build slash or forward slash env setup dot sh. Now. If you are building for a different device than Shamu, you'd want to go with this. Uh, you would copy, paste that in there, hit enter. That's going to set that up, and then you want to type in lunch, or you can copy paste lunch. That's down there, but I'm, gonna ju I'm just going to type it in. Hit enter. Now that gives you a list of devices that you have um, on your computer from the repo sync that you just did. Uh, and there are quite a few different devices. Uh, I can see, oh geez, uh, quite a few. Um, I know there's a uh, Nexus 6, uh, Nexus 5, 5X, uh, hell, there's Grouper, uh, Flow, Flounder. Uh, Flounder, that's cool, that's the Nexus 10, which I have. Um, and I'm pretty sure, no, Flounder is uh, Nexus 9. Yeah, make a, or, um, yeah, I forget. Anyways, Flounder's Nexus 9. Uh, but anyways, guys, there's quite a few here. So you can go this way. You want to pick your number. Um, if we go Shamu, or let's see if I can find it. Uh, user debug right here, Shamu. That would be number 29. You type in 29. Right? I just want to make sure it's right. 29 is Shamu user debug. Hit enter. Uh, I always suggest to do the user debug because it just helps out. Now you want to wait, let it pull in all, uh, everything that it needs for that. Okay, so now it knows it's going to build for Shamu. Um, and if you didn't use that first command, you're going to have to now give it the command uh, to build, and that would be this make uh, J4 OTA package. Um, I don't do it that way. Uh, I actually copy and paste this. And then you can substitute Shamu for whatever device uh, you want to build for, whether it's Angular, um, you know, whatever. Uh, hammerhead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, oops, we're going to copy and paste this. 
and I'm going to show you guys. Copy and paste, and we're going to hit enter, and this is going to go ahead and start the build. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to take too long because I just built it uh, <laughs> for the video I just did. So while it's building, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, pause it quickly so that you guys can, uh, uh, so I don't take too much time on the video for you. So we're going to go ahead and hit pause. Okay guys, as you can see, we're at 46%. Um, this thing's running, it's going really, really quick uh, because I just got done building this ROM for the first video. Uh, so it will be very, very quick to build it again. Um, so as soon as it is done at 100%, uh, I will uh, come back again. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Okay. Uh, this thing is about done. We're at 99%. Um, right now what it's doing, it's building the zip file uh, and putting it in the out folder. Um, and it took about 30 minutes to do, if that, maybe 20 minutes at the most. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it continue um, so you guys can see what it looks like when the build is done and if it's completed correctly. Um, I, I'm trying to think of anything else I might have missed. Uh, the main thing here to remember is if you want to build a ROM uh, for Android, uh, number one, again, you have to have uh, a Linux distro. And again, a Linux distro is just a program uh, that's made simpler. Uh, it's got a simpler UI. Um, that's At least some of them are made to look more like uh, or to run more like Windows. Uh, so if you're familiar with Windows, a lot of these Linux distros uh, like Barbecue, um, and of course, uh, Mate uh, will be very familiar uh, to you. Um, and you're also going to have to get familiar with GitHub. Um, just to build a ROM uh, and not do any changes, you know, like I said, I'm doing this video for those of you that want to try it for yourself. You want to have uh, a ROM uh, that's out there, you know, uh, before it's released, or you just want the satisfaction of building it for yourself. Uh, this is the way you want to do it. Uh, I'm hoping it builds. Oh, uh, I know what I wanted to say too. Um, when you're building this, you're going to see a lot of warnings come up. Uh, those warnings are from Google mostly uh, because you're making changes to their code. Uh, they throw a lot of warnings out there. Don't be uh, discouraged. As long as it's continuing to build, um, it's still fine. You're, you, you're probably going to get a hundred or more warnings. Uh, again, as long as it's it hasn't stopped and you didn't get red letters that this build has failed, um, you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this yet uh, until it's done, and uh, and then we'll get back to it. All right, uh, if you are building any of Ground Zero, um, any of their builds, uh, when it's done, it's going to be a very colorful ending like this. Uh, and if it says right here, make completed su successfully. Uh, 36 minutes and 57 seconds is what it took this time. It actually took me about four hours for the first build. Um, again, the reason it took so quick this time was because I'm, I was doing what, what we call a dirty build. Um, I didn't clean anything out. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out because we're done with that. Uh, we are done with this. Again, I'm going to give you guys links to all the uh, commands that you're going to need. And then I'm going to recap once we're done here. Uh, you're going to want to go back into your uh, your home folder. Uh, so in uh, Ubuntu, uh, this is where you see the picture of the home on it. That is your home folder. This is going to be where anything that's created goes into unless you physically put it on your desktop. Uh, or if it's uh, installed as a desktop item. Now, you want to go back into that folder that you created uh, to begin with, uh, which is Validus. And when you go in here, you, you want to scroll down until you find a folder called Out. Uh, you're going to go to Target, Product, and of course, since we only built one ROM for one device, uh, there's only going to be one Target in here, and that's Shamu. Now, if we would have built for uh, the Nexus 6P, uh, it would say Angler. Um, uh, if we built for the OnePlus One, it would say Bacon, and so on and so on. Um, but uh, since we built for Shamu, and we want to get that ROM out uh, and load it on our device, you go into this folder here. Uh, you're going to scroll down, you're going to see some zips. 
Um, now I have more than what you're going to see for the first build um, because I didn't clean them out. Um, and since I just built a ROM about uh, finished up an hour ago, um, I have two sets of folders. You're going to have a zip folder or a zip, uh, a ROM zip, and then you're going to have an update zip. Uh, you'll see uh, one's called uh, Validus Shamu uh, Stable uh, Unofficial Zip, and then you're going to see this uh, Validus Shamu OTA. Uh, so this, they're basically the same thing. If you was to look at them in properties, you would see that uh, the uh, size is exactly the same. There really is no difference between the two. I think um, there's a little bit of wording different differences um, in the system uh, and about phone. Uh, but that's about it. Maybe even in the build prop, um, just basically in the labeling. Uh, but everything else is the same. So either or, you could flash either one, uh, just like you flash any normal ROM on your device, and they would both flash just fine. So you would connect your device uh, to your computer, um, and then you would uh, you would just copy. Uh, just click on. Oops, not copy to. Copy and and paste onto your device. And I don't have my device hooked up in here right now, but that's how you do it. It's that simple, guys. There's no more to it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else uh, that I want to go over with you again. Whoops, applications. Let me go down in my G Note again. Uh, I, I'm going to have this uh, posted. Uh, I want to do some altering on it a little bit. Uh, but again, if you guys just follow the directions, um, right down the line on this, and just like I said, it, it's very simple. I'll go over this once again quickly. On your desktop, right click, open in terminal. And then what you do is you start right here where it says instructions. Remove all traces of Java. That's the very first thing you are going to do. You start by just copying and pasting all of this in here, hit enter. Uh, click on Y if it asks you, you know, to click Y or N for yes or no. You know, you want to click on Y, enter, and then if it, and some of these commands, uh, it's going to say uh, it needs to go further, and in order for it to go further, you have to hit enter or click back to quit. Always click enter, okay? Uh, if you go down through all of these steps, and you're copying and pasting these exactly, is all you're doing. Copy and paste into here and clicking enter. Um, you're going to get all the way down to the end. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're step number five, remove unnecessary packages. That's basically just cleaning it up, getting rid of anything that it downloaded and you know through the install process. Uh, and then you're going to make your uh, user accessible folder. And uh, then you're going to uh, also enable cache. All of this stuff has to be done. Restart bash. Remember, you're copying and pasting only uh, these command lines. Um, if you see a number before it with the parentheses, uh, that's not a command. And you want, these are the command lines, okay? See, echo, export, use cache, so that's a command line. Then you notice the restart bash has an 8 with a, print, or with a, uh, a quote uh, on the one side of it. That's not a command line. That's just telling you what the next command line is. So you get down through there, then you're going to want to configure Git. Remember what I said, um, I really highly recommend going to GitHub. And I'll show you guys here real quick. We're going to just open up Internet, uh, Google Chrome. And if you guys just do a quick uh, search in Google Chrome, you just type, type in GitHub. Since it opens here. And since I already did a, a type, there it is. Uh, I would go to, let me see, not that one, but uh, let's go ahead and click on that one once. Yep, here it is. Uh, I wanna, I'm wanna. i already logged in. So this is my page. This is where all your repos would be at, your repos. These are the repos I'm following. Um, but yeah, uh, to get, um, you know, to get an account here, it's, it's free. Uh, you just need to create a username, you know, and, and do it. Uh, and then, like I said, uh, once you have that done, uh, then where it says get, config global username uh, you need to have the quotes in there but then you would put your username or just use modo m-o-e d-o-e uh, and then where it says uh, get config global user dot email uh, with no quotes you put the email address in uh, the, I use the email address I used on my account 
you guys can use modo at email.com or gmail.com. I, I think it's email.com. Um, either one will work. Uh, you know, you don't really have to have an account to do this. You just have to have a username in here and some kind of email address. Uh, again, I really recommend that you put or create a GitHub account. Use your username. Use your, uh, your email address that you use for GitHub. Uh, then you're going to enable repo, uh, which is step 10. You know, copy and paste this command line in there. Then you're going to make a ROM folder. In your case, it, it won't be 6ROM. It will be whatever ROM you are building. Then you're going to change directories and go into that folder. Once you're in that folder, you're going to repo, uh, repo in it. Um, and that's not the one you're going to be using because that is no longer there. You're going to be using uh, the ROM that you choose to build. And remember what I told you guys, you're looking for the manifest repo. Okay, that's what you're looking for. Um, and I highly recommend for your first ROM, try to build Validus. It's very simple. Um, it usually goes through without any trouble, and there it it uh, it supports a ton of different devices. Uh, then you're going to you you put in that repo in it, um, and then you do a uh, uh, you're going to sync the repo by just typing in repo sync. Um, you want to make sure that when the repo sync is done. That it says uh, all work trees are um, downloaded. It'll say 100% of 100, um, and then you're good to go. And you want to go ahead and build. Uh, you can do it uh, the way I showed you, which is uh, the short way or the long way. I highly recommend you doing it the short way um, and substituting. If you're not building for the uh, Nexus 6 instead of Shamu here, uh, put in whatever uh, your device name is, whether it's Bacon for the One Plus One, Angler for the Nexus 6P, or whatever. Uh, just replace Shamu with whatever device you're going to build for. Hit enter, and your ROM will get built. It's that simple. Um, I can't think of any other thing to tell you uh, other than that. Um, and that's it. Uh, you guys can always ask questions uh, under in the descriptions on the video. Uh, you, or you can go to uh, my Google Plus community, uh, which is Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Um, you can ask questions there. I also have a Telegram chat room. Uh, also called Haze Tech and ROM or Haze Tech and ROM Reviews um, chat room, which is we I'll, we'll try to answer pretty much uh, any tech question that you have. Um, you, you're more than welcome to go over there. Um, and I did want to mention quickly uh, that on my next video, um, I'm going to uh, do a video on Super Use or Super R's Kitchen. Uh, this is the tool that I use to build uh, my custom ROM, which is called Ghost ROM. Um, it's a very good tool to use if you have a, a Samsung device, um, actually any device really. And what it will do for you, uh, among other things, is you can download a, uh, um, a system update, um, which is basically an image file. Uh, you can download that file uh, or over the air update from like Samsung, um, and you can uh, put it into this tool, and this tool